Hey guys welcome. This is TechAid TV. In this video, I will show you how to connect and print wirelessly through Wi-Fi direct connection of this Epson L3250 printer. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, press the power button. Then wait until the Wi-Fi flashing light stops. Then press the Wi-Fi button once. To enable Wi-Fi direct connection. Before pressing the network status button, place at least three sheets of A4 size paper in our paper tray. Then, hold down the network status button for at least seven seconds. Until the printer starts printing its network status information. Network status information. It consists of three pages. Just wait until it finishes printing. Then get the information sheet and look for Wi-Fi direct information. Then keep the Wi-Fi direct SSID and password. Then, before connecting our smartphone, Let's first have an internet connection. And go to the App Store or Play Store. And download the Epson Iprint mobile application. So, to download, go to Play Store search bar. Then search for Epson Iprint. Then choose the first item from the list. Then press install. Then before we open the application, go to setting to connect our smartphone to our Epson L3250 printer. Then select printer SSID. Then type the password and connect. This Wi-Fi network has no internet. Connect anyway? Then choose Connect. Then open the Epson Iprint application. Then press Agree. Then press OK. Then we can now skip this application tour. And tap here to select a printer. Then the system will prompt. You need to share your smartphone location information to connect the product. Just select Next. Then select Allow, only while using this app. Then a Repson L3250 is shown here. Just tap to select, then select. Keep using Epson Iprint. Then now we have successfully connected to a Repson L3250 printer. Then now we can print photos, documents, or even scan wirelessly via a Wi-Fi direct connection. Then now let's try to print photos. Tap Photos. Then select Allow Epson Iprint to access a photo. To select a photo to print. Then select Next. Then you can go to Setting. To add a number of copies. Change the paper size. A media type. Or even the print quality. Then select Done. Then print. And now our printer is printing the document. And that's how simple it is to connect our smartphone via a direct Wi-Fi connection of this Epson L3250 printer. And I hope you have learned how to connect your smartphone to your Epson L3250 printer in this video. And if you are new on our YouTube channel, Please subscribe for more tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.